Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to print out a job accounting report from the physical machine, as well as how to reset the total counter uh, for each uh, job accounting code. This will be used for, say, collecting end of month totals and then resetting the counter for the end of month to get ready for the start of the next month. In order to do this, uh, you'll need a couple things. The first will be the admin username and password for your copier. If you're unsure as to what that is, please reach out to your Kyocera support representative. The other thing that you will need is you will need the IP address of your copier. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out a job accounting report. This is something I would do at the end of each billing period where I want to track the usage based on my user codes. The first thing I have to do is that when I'm standing in front of the machine, I have to log in using an account ID. Once I have done so, I'm going to select the gray system menu button. And then once I'm here, I'm going to go to the second page and I'm going to go to user login and job accounting. It will ask you for a username and password at this point. Please enter it and then select log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to job accounting setting. Once you've selected next, you're gonna to go to job accounting local and select next here. After that, you'll select print next to the print accounting report button. It will then confirm if you want to print out the accounting report, which we do, so I will select yes here. And then you will see that the accounting report will start to print. Once you have your printed job accounting output, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what the job accounting report actually looks like so that we know what we're looking at here. So what I'll do is I scanned the printed output over to my computer so I'll be able to see what it looks like and we can take a peek at it together. So when you're looking at this sheet, what you'll notice uh, is that it is listed in numeric order for, a, for the given ID. So for example, we have test Charlie, which has account 3333, and we also have test test, which is account 9595. Now what you'll see here is that we have a variety of different counts that it tracks. It tracks copies, it tracks prints, and it tracks scans. Keep in mind that this is a cumulative running total of all jobs until or unless the reset button is selected, which we're going to go over in just a minute. Something I want to note is you're going to see an account ID uh, labeled other. This is a default account on the machine. It cannot be removed. This is used for when something is uh, printed without an access code. A common example of this would be a, a fax that is received. Uh, or if a technician comes on site and needs to print out documentation, it will be printed to the other code as very often the documentation that they are printing out will be tied to service mode, which is account independent. So once you have all of the counts that you need here, the next thing that we can do is we're going to reset the counters on the machine. So in order to do this, we will need the printer IP address. If you're unsure of what the IP address is or how to find the IP address, please see our video on locating the IP address of your Kyocera Task Alpha. So what I'll do is I will enter the IP address as a web browser here. It'll take me uh, into my web browser here. It'll take me to the command center Rx. I will log in as an admin. Uh, if you're unsure of your admin password, please reach out to your uh, support company uh, that supports your printer and they'll be more than happy to share that with you. Once you're in here, you'll go to the left hand side, management settings, and then the first option should be job accounting. Once you're here, you're going to have, uh, you're going to see down at the bottom, total account and then counter. From this page, if we want, we can reset the counter and this resets all counters in all accounts. This would be our end of the billing period. We want to reset everything. Now, say we wanted to get a little bit more granular and I just wanted to reset one specific account. What I can do is if I go to test Charlie, for example, say this is a, a client of mine that uh, has reached the end of their billing period, but their billing period ends on a different date than the majority of my other clients. What I can do is I can go to the specific counter uh, for their account, and I can reset just their counter. And what that does is it clears out that one counter while leaving the other counters untouched. And in this way, you can actively manage uh, this free plugin on the Kyocera device for color and usage tracking. 
I want to thank you for joining me today. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we reviewed how to generate a job accounting report, and we also reviewed how to reset counters on both a global and account level. I want to thank you for joining me, and have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again.